Now, next section, brothers and sisters, in which the possessor is a definite noun. These are also definite nouns, but they had tanwin. Huh? Proper nouns are all definite. So they had also tanwin. Okay? Now we have nouns coming with al. So, brothers and sisters, maktabul al mudarrisu. How will you say now? Maktabul mudarri si. Maktabul mudarri si. Maktabul mudarri si. Okay? Miftahun al baitu. Miftahul baiti. Because al, remember that Hamza is Hamzatul wasal. If it is in the middle somewhere, we assimilate it. We don't pronounce it. So you will say, Miftahul Baiti. You cannot say, Miftahu Al Baiti. That will be wrong. Okay. Dukkanun Attajiru. So you will say, Dukkanut Tajiri. How will you say, brother? Dukkanut Tajiri. Dukkanut Tajiri. Okay. Baitun Al Muhandisu. Baitul Muhandisi. Are you with me? Very good. Ismul Ismul Al Waladu. Ismul Waladi. Very good. Kitabun Allahu. Kitabullahi. What is it? What is this, brother? Mudaf Mudafilehi. Huh? Remember that Mudaf Mudafilehi. Okay. Bintun at Tabibu. Bintut Tabibi. Bintut Tabibi. Very good. Miftahun as Sayaratu. Miftahus Sayarati. What will you say? Miftahus Sayarati. Yeah? Huh? Sun letter, brother. Okay. Cars key. Key of the car. Do you understand? Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Mudaf, Mudafili. Very good, brother. Now, Ikra, Waktub, read and write. Ma means with. Dakti means with proper vowel signs on the awahi, on the end of the kalimat. Words, okay, brother? What is the first one, brothers and sisters? Babul. Uh, no, Babul Madrasati. What is it? Babul Madrasati. See, there are no vowel signs. Uh, those who have uh, new books, they will find it. Uh, but the, uh, our books don't have it. Uh, in two weeks' time, we will get a new consignment of new books. If you wish, you can then have that, brother. Okay? Next, brother, what is the next compound? Himarur Rajuli. Himarur Rajuli. Himarur Rajuli. Okay. What is the translation? Donkey after man. Man after donkey. Galat ho jaye. Okay. Okay. Donkey of the man. Okay. Next one, brother. Baitu Hamidin. House of Hamid. Huh? Okay. Very good, brother. Sayaratul Mudiri. What will you say? Sayaratul Mudiri. Car of the headmaster. Next one, brother and sisters. Mindilu Amma Rin. Handkerchief of Amma. Very good. Is it clear, brother? All of you agree with me? Uh, it's clear, inshallah. Huh? Okay. If not, then you can again ask me later on, inshallah. Ismut Talibi. What will you say? Ismut Talibi. Name of the student. Very good. Next one, that's very easy, brother. Baitullahi. We always say Baitullah. Baitullah. But we never say Baitullahi. Correctly, it is Baitullahi. Why he? Because it is Mudafilehi. And Mudafilehi is always Majroor. Huh? Fine, brother. Now comes something that is little tricky. But we will try to understand. Huh? Okay, brother. I forgot to write this. This will be written like Kitabul 
مدرسی مداف مداف لہی now I'm writing here فی and then کتاب First, we do without the fee. First, we do without the fee. If I say to you like this, what kind of a vowel sign you will put on it? Dhamma, kitabullahi, book of Allah. Huh? Fine, brother. I'll put Dhamma here. But now, fee has come in front of it. And what does fee do? It makes the ism majroor. It gives it a kasra. Huh? Ism majroor. Huh? Remember, if I tell you harf jar, ism majroor. You'll always reply me, ism majroor. It will make it majroor. Okay? Now, fi came, then this change into majroor, kitabi. Huh? And then Allahi is there. Now, the effect of fi is only up to one noun. It, it has no control over here. No control over here, brother. Huh? Fi kitabil lahi. Now, if I were to analyze, how do I analyze? Harf char. Ism majroor. But then at the same time, they have a relationship. Mudah mudafili. So, it, in other words, this thing is one compound and brother and sister this has another compound so we have here fi harfu jarrin and then this is ismu ismun majroorun ism majroor plus who huh? are mudaf? It is mudaf. And then what will this be? Huh? Mudaf ilahi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? In other words, if they say phrase like this coming in the book or coming in the Quran, brothers and sisters, uh, coming in the Quran, it will be Harfcha, Ism Majroor, Bahuwa Mudaf, and then Mudaf Ilay. Are you with me? Okay. We will be repeating it many times. Uh, because I feel that if I show you how to do simple analysis now, then in book 2 and book 3, you know, and then when the Quran will come in front of us, brother, you will understand it beautifully. Directly. That is our aim. To understand Quran directly. In Arabic. The Quran has to be read in Arabic. And understood in Arabic. The miracle of the Quran is the language of the Quran. Brother. Message of guidance is there. But how was the message brought down? It's a miracle. What is the miracle of Prophet Musa alayhi salam? Asa. Stick. Huh? It's gone. We don't have it now. What was the Prophet of Hadar Isa? He gave uh, eyes to the blind. He raised a dead person. Huh? He gave life with the permission of Allah. Okay, but are those person here to show us that I was dead and I became alive? They are gone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his infinite wisdom gave Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa a miracle that will remain miracle till the end of time. And if you don't know the language, you will never feel that miracle. brother. It's up to you and up to us. But as a Muslim, we must read the Quran in Arabic and we must understand in Arabic. Huh? That is what is our responsibility. 
as long as we live here. And brother, as a non-Arabs, we got to make an effort. And Allah will make it easy on us. And we will learn the language of the Quran. We learn everything. Did we know computer when we were born? No, we learn later on in life. You became a doctor or engineer or a, a lawyer or whatever you name it. You all learned everything, your trade. What about the language of the Quran? You have to learn that too, inshallah. Okay, brother, having said this, so, fi kitabillahi. Now, what's the next one? Min. Uh, uh, what's the next line, Sister Salma? Min. Bai. Bai til. Look, you cannot say two now. Min has come. Are you with me? Harf jar? Isam majroor. Min. Bai. Til mudarrisi. You got to write it, huh? Okay. And brothers and sisters, if you make a mistake, what is my advice to you? Don't worry. Huh? Because I tell you, I have had students who told me some took two weeks to understand mudaf mudafilihi. Some took maybe more than that. So the the concept to sink in your mind may take a little longer. Some of you may get it in one day, brother. So you should not be worried, inshallah. We are going to do it slowly, slowly, inshallah. What is the next one? Allah Maktabil Mudiri. Are you with me? So how will you analyze Min Baitil Mudarrisi? Min Harfujar Baiti Isam Majru Wahua Mudaf and then Mudafilahi. Ala maktabil mudiri. What is ala? Arfcha. What is maktabi? Isam majru. Wahua mudaf. And mudafili. Brother, in the handout we have given you some of the most frequently used harfjars. What is harfjar in English? Preposition. There is a List of preposition given. <clears throat> what are they? What are these? Are all these are all jar majrur, and they are from the Quran. Read it and feel it. And they are all from Quran. Okay. Every day. So, brother, what are the half jars? Allah, min, ila. Fi, an, li, and b. Uh, b. B with kasra is a harf jar. Brothers and sisters, every single day you say, why we don't know how many times we all say. Now today we are going to analyze it. Uh, we are going to analyze it. Okay, now this is b and this is sm. Okay. Now, see, the Hamza of Ism is Hamzatul Wasal. If it comes in the beginning of the sentence, we will pronounce it like Ismul Waladi. But it did not come in the beginning, something else came in the front, then that Hamzatul Wasal will not be pronounced. Okay? So I'm writing here. Brother, now you analyze it. What is B? Hafcha. What is Ism? Ism. Ism Majru. Wahua Mudaf. And then Mudaf. If you took out B, what will, how will you pronounce now? Ismullahi. What will you say? Ismullahi. Bring B. Bismillahi. Bismillahi. So, Brother Muhammad, Hafcha. Isam Majroor, Wahua Mudaf, and then Mudaf Ilahi. Got the idea? And what is after that? Bismillah, Rahmah, Nirrahim. When we go to lesson number nine, then we will analyze the whole thing. Slowly, slowly, brother, one day, inshallah, we will analyze the, the salat we pray. So that you know what you are saying in your salah. 
and you will, inshallah, enjoy it, brother. Okay, now, this is not the way Bismillah is written in the Quran. It's not. The only time it is written differently, it is in the Quran. It is from the time of Hadrat Uthman, radiallahu anhu. Okay, brothers and sisters. Because you don't pronounce Hamdatul Wasal, they eliminate. Only in the Quran. Otherwise, normally you have to write down. Huh? Okay? Hamdatul Wasal, if it is not pronounced, but it's still written. It is written. It may not be pronounced. But in this case, Hamdatul Wasal, because it is not pronounced, it has been dropped. Huh? So how do you say now, brother? Now I tell you what is B, Harsha. What is Ism? Ism Majru. Wahua Mudaf. And then Mudafili. Got the idea, brother? It's simple and wonderful. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. Now, we go to, brother, uh, we go to lesson number five again. I want to revise because it's important. We don't want to rush. Before we do that, Again, a general explanation. Nouns in Arabic decline according to the functions they play in the sentence. Huh? In English, we say noun decline in three cases. Nominative case, accusative case, and genitive case. In Arabic, we say the noun can be marfu, noun can be mansub, and noun can be majroor. Huh? Okay? According to the functions they play. Sentence is a group of words which makes complete sense. Okay, there are two kinds of, kinds of sentences. One is called jumla ismia, and other is called jumla feria. Huh? Right now, we try to understand in the most uh, simple way that if there is a jumla ismia, the sentence will begin with a noun. That is why it is called jumla ismia because then sentence will begin with a noun. Okay. In Jumla Ismiya, we are looking for two things. We are looking for Muttada and Khabar. In English, we say we are looking for subject and predicate. Huh? And I told you, brother, Muttada is always Marfu. Always Marfu. Muttada is always Marfu. And Khabar, if it is one word, it's Marfu. No Mansu. Mansu are coming in book two. Huh? Don't worry. Don't worry. Huh? Muftada, Muftada, Marfu. Khabar, Marfu. Are you with me, brother? Okay. Then we learned in lesson number four that Khabar can also be Jarun wa Majroorun. If I say Jarun wa Majroorun means there is a harf jar followed by Ism Majru. Huh? Muhammadun. What is Muhammadun? Muftada. Marfu. Muftada. Okay, what is, what is the khabar? Fil Masjidi. What is it? Fil Masjidi. So, what is Fil Masjidi? Fi, Harfchar, Al Masjidi, Jar Majrur, and majur, Ism Majrur. Jarun Majrur, we say Shibu Jumla. What is the meaning of Shibu Jumla? Phrase. Huh? It is all in the handbook, sister uh, Mainas. Aap dekhenge, inshallah, when you will go through it. We did this because for four days, we have been trying to understand all these things. Inshallah, you will understand in one day, inshallah. Are you with me? What is phrase? A group of words which does not make complete sense. In the masjid. Doesn't make sense. When you say, Muhammadun is in the masjid, now it makes sense. So, Muhammadun Muftada. Then where is the khabar? Fil masjid. Fi harfchar. Masjid isam majru. Together we say, Jarun wa majrurun. Are you with me? Jarun wa majrurun. Okay? Shubu jumla khabar. Al kitabu Muftada. Al al maktabi. Jar majrur. Shibu Jumla Allah on Maktabi desk. Huh? 
Okay, look at this, brothers and sisters. Are you watching me? Describe this. Al Kalamu Al Al Maktabi. What is Al Kalamu? Mubtada. What is Al Al Maktabi? Jarun, Majrurun, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Okay? Fine, brother. Now, we start like that and we carry on with Saeedun. Huh? What is Saeedun saying? A kitabu Muhammadin haza. A kitabu Muhammadin haza. How will you, do you translate, brother? Is this book of Muhammad? Now, if you want, huh, you can do one thing with pencil. You can circle Kitabu Muhammadin. Huh? Are you with me? So, what is Kitabu Muhammadin, brothers and sisters? Mudah, mudah filehi. You can circle it if you want. If you want. Huh? If you are strong, you don't need to circle it. But okay. Now, remember one thing, brothers and sisters. We will not analyze questions. Only statements. Not all of them in the book, but whenever we feel, we will give it a try. Okay. La. What is la, brother? Harfu jawab. It's a particle of answering. It's a harf. Okay. All the words in Arabic language can be put into three groups. What are those three groups? Nouns, verbs, and particles. Very good, brother. Okay. Now, what is the next one, brother? Aina kitabu Muhammadin. Where is the book of Muhammad? You can again circle if you want kitabu Muhammadin or underline it. Whatever you want to do it. You can even underline it. Where is the book of Muhammad, brother? Huwa. What is huwa? It is uh, Mubtada. Where is the khabar? Alal Maktabi. Ala Harfchar. Uh, Maktabi is in Majur. And what is Hunaka? Hunaka is a zarf. It's telling you about a place. Uh, it is adverb. Zarf. Zarf. Uh, zarfu Makan. Because it is telling you a place. Uh, zarfu Makan. In English, adverb of place. Uh, Zarfu Makan. Okay, fine. It's also in the book, Sister Manas. Fine. Aina Daftaru Ammarin. Where is the notebook of Ammar? Are you with me? Where is it? Okay. Huwa Muftida. Where is the khabar? Alal Maktabi. Char Majrur Shibu Jumla khabar. But let us analyze, brother. Ala Harf Char. Huh? Where is Ism Majrur? Maktabi. But there is something more following it. Then it is Mudaf and then Mudafili. We will say who are Mudaf and Mudafili. Very good, brother. Kalamu Manhaza Ya Ali. Kalamu Manhaza. Brother, this you should circle. Kalamu Man is a Mudaf, Mudafilehi. Pen of who? Whom? Or in English, we'll say, whose pen is this? Or you can say, pen of who? You can say, you know, in, a, in order to translate in a way that we understand, mudaf, mudaf ilahi, pen of who? You use of there. Huh? So, kalamu man is mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Huh? Okay? See, how, what is the sign that it is mudaf? Because it does not have alif. It does not have tanween. So it is muda muda. This compound. It is a compound. Okay. Hada. Tell me the hada. Hada muftida. You know, where is the khabar? Kalamu. Because here it is. Does the kalamu have one one uh, vowel sign? No al. Uh, so this is your khabar. And also, does it have a dhamma? So khabar is always marfu. It is marfu. Huh? Bahuwa mudaf and then mudaf ilahi. Sahi? Inshallah. Aina hakibatul mudarrisi. Hakibatul mudarrisi. Handbag of the teacher. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay, now remember, it is mudaf mudaf ilahi. Okay. What is the answer? 
He here. Why he here, brother? Because it refers to Hakiba. Hakiba too, which is feminine. Okay. In Arabic, noun is always masculine or feminine. No in between, brother. Here, Muptada. Now tell me where is the khabar? Tahta. What is tahta? Under. Fine, brother. More than that. It is a zarf. It's an adverb. Tahta means under. Tahta is an adverb of place. Zarfu huh? makan. And we learned last Thursday. Now we repeat it again. If there is a zarf, not all the zarf, but many zarf, if there is a zarf, it will behave as if it is mudaf. Then if it is mudaf, then, then we should have mudaf ilahi. Huh? So tahta is a zarf, it behaves like a mudaf. So then what is al maktabi mudaf ilahi? And it is majroor. Uh, Sister Fatima, al makta b. Why makta b? Because it is isam majroor. Because it is mudaf ilahi. It became majroor. Are you with me, brother? Is it clear? Uh, so remember that. Now I tell you one thing. Here, muftada, where is the khabar? Tahta. You will say tahta zarf. And then you will again say shibu jumla. Huh? Shibu jumla khabar. Are you with me? Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then Al Mudarris, Al Maktabi, Mudafili. Now, let us summarize. We are going to learn how many kinds of Khabar, slowly, slowly. Some scholars can just say only three kinds. But for simplicity's sake, I say five kinds. And then we will learn them. Okay. So, so, so far, how many different kinds of khabar we have learned? Three. What is it? Either it is one word. If it is one word, then it is always, always marfu, brother. Never, never anything else. Always marfu. And if it is not one word, then there is a possibility. It is charun wa majrurun. Like a muhammadun fil baiti. Okay? Muhammad is in the house. So, fil baiti is your khabar. Jarun, majrun. See, here I say, Muhammadun talibun. Muhammad is a student. What is Muhammad? Muftada. What is talibun? Khabar. See, one word. And khabar is most of the time indefinite. Muftada, most of the time is always definite. Fine. Muhammadun Talibun. Fine. Muhammadun Fil Fasli. Muhammad is in the classroom. What is Muhammad? Muftada. Where is Khabar? Fil Fasli. Fi Harf Jar. Al Fasli is a Majru. Jar Majru. Shibu Jumla. Khabar. Now, Muhammad is sitting under the tree. So I will say, Muhammadun Tahta Shajarati. What did I say? He is under the tree. Muhammadun tahta shajarati. Tahta is a zarf. It behaves like a mudaf. So shajarati is now mudaf ilahi. Majroor. So okay. Muhammad mubtada. What is tahta? Zarf. And then you will say shibu jumla khabar. But in the case of zarf, sister Mainas, we won't say it is mudaf. We will only say it is zarf. And then the noun which is coming after it is majroor. We will say it is mudafilihi. Huh? Again, brother, Muhammadun tahta shajarati. Okay. Muhammadun muftada. Tahta zarf. Huh? Zarf. Shibu jumla khabar. Are you with me? And then what about the shajarati? Mudafilihi. Khalas. That's the way we analyze. Okay, brother? That's the way we analyze. Okay. Now... I want to do a little more and then we will take only 15 minutes break, huh, inshallah. Not long, huh, brother? Okay. <clears throat> Ikra, page number 28. Hmm? <clears throat> because I have to explain you a lot of things in this, brothers and sisters. Okay. 
Ikra. Read. Aina Baitul Mudarrisi. Only translation. What is it, brother? Aina Baitu. Because it is Mudah Mudafilehi. Baitul Mudarrisi. Can you say Baiti? No. Why not? Because no harfjar came there. Aina is not harfjar. Okay? And also we don't analyze questions. What is the answer? Huwa ba'idun. What is the meaning of it? It's far. Huh? So where is our muftida? Huwa. Where is our khabar? Do you see it? Is, do you see it's marfu? And it's one word? Huh? Marfu and one word? Very good. Now comes, brother, second, what is the first word? Al-Qur'anu. Huh? Okay, I would like you to do something, eh? Sister uh, Salma, you were confused, that's normal, okay? I'm writing the sentence, okay, brother? Al-Qur'anu. Kitabul Lahi. Huh? I want you to do with a pencil. With a pencil. What is the meaning of that? I put it's a mobtida. So I want to separate it so that I don't get confused. In the beginning, if you do all these small, small things, it will help you. Al Quranu. Okay, then we want our khabar. Where is the khabar? Kitabullah. It cannot be kitabi. Huh? Because if you combine it, then you are getting confused. al Quranu khalas. Kitabullah. So where is the khabar? Kitabu. Khabar, if it is one word, is always marfu. If you say kitabullah, then this is majroor. No, that is not right. Remember I told you, Dr. Abdurrahim told me that many students who are coming from Dini Madrasas into the university in Medina and they have been, uh, you know, rata lagana. <laughs> they just, they just memorize it without thinking and teacher says, where is the khabar? They say kitabullah. So Dr. Abdurrahim said, where is the khabar? He said, Kitabullah. He said, no, that's not correct. I told you that khabar is always marfu. So, where is the marfu? One word, kitabu. This is your khabar. Because khabar has to be marfu. Okay. He said, no. My teacher says, Kitabullah is the khabar. Doctor said, but you know, it is majroor. Khabar cannot have a kasra. Huh? If it is a noun. And if it is one word. But he would not Agree, because he said he thought his teacher was, uh, you know, his ustad was a sheikh, and he's right. <laughs> anyway, so brother, we learn kitabu is your khabar. Okay, what more? Wahua muda. What is it? Wahua muda. Sahi. And then what is this? Muda So this is how you will do it. Okay, brother and sisters. Next one. Al Kaabatu put a line. That way you separate your muftida. Al Kaabatu. What about Kaabatu, brother? Tell me the news. Muftida. And what is the news? Baitu. Wahua muda. And then, see, Sister Salma, we had not done it. You tried to do on your own. You got little confused, but it's normal, you know. We all, brother and sisters. It's, sometimes it's better to make a mistake, you know, because we learn from our mistakes. We get stronger, then we never make mistake again, inshallah. Okay, brother, al kabatu if you put a line, okay, what is the news? Baitullahi. So, where is the khabar? Baitu. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf. Got the idea, brother? Ji? What is Allah? Mudaf ilahi. Yes. It's majroor. Okay. Kaaba is the house of Allah. House is the, what is Kaaba? It is a house. House of Allah. So, of Allah is majroor. You know, and the khabar is always marfu. 
Very good, brother. Muhammadun. Remember? Muhammadun. Brother, do one thing. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Put it into a bracket. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No, this is not. That, in the, later on we will learn. This is called parenthetical clause. It has got nothing to do with what we are saying. You could have said that the actual sentence is Muhammadun Rasulullah. But as a Muslim, whenever we say Muhammad, we say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That has got nothing to do with what we are trying to say. Huh? Okay. So it is called, you know, parenthesis, parenthetical class. Okay. Same way, if I say Allah, who. And then even immediately I say, Subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is also parenthetical clause. Okay, fine. Muhammadun. What is about, what about Muhammadun? Muhammadun. 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 It is Muhammadun. Oh, where is the khabar? Rasul. Only Rasul. Wa huwa mudaf. And then Allahi mudaf ilayhi. Uh, are you with me, brother? Abdul Qadir? You are getting there, brother? Inshallah. Next one, brother. Oh, okay. Yes. The actual sentence is... What is your actual sentence, brother? This is the sentence I wrote first day on the board. Muhammadun... Okay, brother. I put a line to separate Muftada and Khabar. What is Muhammad, brother? Muftada. Huh? How will you translate? Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Now we say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that has got nothing to do with the sentence. Huh? It's a separate thing that we are putting in. Huh? Okay? So, Muhammad, Muftada, Brother, what about the news? Rasulu. And what is Rasulullahi? Mudaf, Mudaf ilayhi. But first and foremost is Rasulu is your khabar. Wahua, Mudaf. And then Mudaf ilayhi. Got the idea? Now we come, brothers and sisters. Yes. Brother, harf char, harf char, brother, there are, you know, there are, how many harf chars we have studied so far? Fi, ela, ala, and min. Now, brother, these are harf char. And on page number 8, on top, see, in the handout, in the handout, page number 8, you will see all the harf char. Now, Muhammad is a noun, brother. And Muptada is always a noun. Harfjar huh? cannot be, become Muptada. Can never be Muptada. You know why? Because Muptada is always marfu. Why? Muptada is always marfu, brother. So what is Muhammadun? Is it a harfjar or a noun? It's a noun, brother. That is why it has got Dhamma there. Huh? Okay, so if you say Muhammad Dun, do you see Dun Dun Dun? Okay, so that is your, that is your Marfu, that is your Muftada. Are you with me? And then what else is here? Rasulu. Rasulu. What Khabar? Marfu again, one word. Wahua Muda, and then Muda. Didn't I uh, tell you, brother uh, Farooq? If I say dun, it's marfu. If I say dun, it's mansu. If I say din, it's majroor. Okay? Therefore, dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din, 
dun 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 din din brother don't take it as a joke i'm taking it as a very serious don don marfu dan mansub din majroor brother so you are reminding yourself dun dun dan dan din din means marfu mansub majroor what is it the noun can have three cases are you with me brother and sisters okay now next one brother number 5 kharaja oh ho 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 i did not say ho 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 <laughs> i said oh ho ho <laughs> kharaja what is kharaja fear what kind of sentence is this uh, no no kharaja is jumla failure what is it jumla failure what i am looking for jum in jumla failure i am looking for fail and i am looking for fail and again i told you last week fail is always always you forgot marfu fail is always always marfu okay remember this so what is kharaja and what is next one brother mudarri so ha eh? kharajal mudarrisu min ghurfatil mudiri okay now this is jumla failure when the jumla failure comes i look for fail and i look for fail that is the most important things that i have to discover and identify in jumla failure and the rest of the things are all complementary are you with me brothers and sisters okay kharaja what is kharaja fi'l madi is it fi'l madi yes it is fi'l madi where is the uh, file no father al mudarrisu remember uh, in 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 huwa and here i told you last time file can be mustatir or can be mawjood in the sentence uh, so you to, before you jump to the conclusion mustatir look into the sentence maybe it is coming little further down the road but then we have to read the whole sentence and then uh, figure out the file fine brother so mudarrisu is your file okay what is min harf char what is gurfati is a no 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 khabar khabar is only in jumla ismiya not in jumla failure remember that and that is also normal because so far we are doing so much of jumla ismiya that we are always looking for khabar even if it is not there we are looking for it <laughs> so don't worry okay khabar mubtada khabar in jumla ismiya jumla failure fail and file are you with me okay min what is min harf cha what is al gurf what is gurfati ism majrur wa huwa mudaf and then where is mudaf you got the idea brothers and sisters okay we'll do, okay now okay there is one more thing but we'll do sixth one and then i'll stop haza what is haza mubtada okay brother put a line there ha huh? what is now khabar baitu 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 only haza baitu and what will be the next word hami din so our khabar is baitu wa huwa mudaf and then mudaf ilayhi got the idea alhamdulillah wa what is wa ataf conjunction ataf zalika what is zalika zalika mubtada mubtada put a line there after zalika i got the idea huh? i'm just telling you these things so that you know uh, it will make a lot of uh, things will become simpler right? okay zalika mubtada where is the khabar baitu ha wa huwa mudaf and then khalidin mudaf lehi got the idea alhamdulillah uh, but we are going to do lot of practices this whole lesson 
devotes itself on Mubtada, Khabar, plus now it is Mudaf, Mudafili. So far, brothers and sisters, so far, so far, the Khabar is coming as a Mudaf. But Mubtada can be Mudaf too. Okay, I give you a simple sentence, Sister Salma. Baitullahi Baitullahi Fi Makkah Translate The house of Allah is in Makkah huh? Okay, so where is Mubtada? Baitu, not Allah Only Baitu Remember, Mubtada is Marfu if you say Baitullahi, then Allah is Majroor. It cannot be part of Mubtada. So here is Mudaf Mudafili in the beginning. Baitullahi. So Baitu is Mubtada. Wahua Mudaf. And Allah Mudafili. And where is the Khabar? Fi. Arfjar. And Makkah. Is a Majroor. Jar Majroor. Shibu Jumla. Khabar. Huh? Okay. Are you with me, brother? Okay. If I tell you, Ibn Muhammadin, translate, son of Muhammad, Ibn Muhammadin, fil masjidi, where is Mubtada? Ibn only, Ibn only, wa huwa mudaf, and Ibn Muhammadin mudafili. Okay, where is the khabar? Fil masjidi. Fil Masjidi. Are you with me, brother? Okay. Ibn Hamidin Tahta Shajarati. Translate, brother. Ibn Hamidin, son of Hamid, is under the tree. So, where is Muftada? Ibn. Wahua Muda. And then Muda Filehi. What is Tahta? Zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then what is Shajarati? Muda Filehi. Are you with me? Inshallah, we are going to do 